Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Junior, I'm gonna show you guys how to pull out from a tight spot, okay? Joseph's gonna do it. This is what you need to be doing, looking out for. So, if it helps you guys, please like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions below. If you decide to come to Prime, and your reason was because of my videos, go ahead and put me down as a referral. Doesn't hurt. Driver code Maturo, M-A-T-U-R-O. Again, driver code Maturo, M-A-T-U-R-O. And get with Nikki Yost. Add her as a recruiter on the application. You know, that's who I deal with directly. So if any questions you have in recruiting, I'm gonna be able to help you with if you have Nikki. I got the connection with Nikki. So <laughs> that's why I say get with Nikki. Please add me as a referral. Ustedes ya saben, Junior Honduras. We are picking up the trailer. I'm going to show you guys. My student will be back and will be pulling out the spot, which you can see over here. I don't know if you can, but it's pretty tight on both sides. Now, I'm going to have him do it. I'm going to walk him through it. I'm going to explain to you guys what needs to happen and why. All right. So let me show you what it looks like on both sides. So it may not seem tight, but it is pretty tight. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me show you the other side. Yeah, so you don't have much room whenever you're pulling out. So you're not going to be able to pull out from the spot like you normally would. So that's where I'm going to come into play. And I'm going to have Joe Joseph pull out. Um, one of the things you want to look at is, think about, look at the area where you're coming out of and assess the area the situation ask yourself which way is the best way to go should I pull out and make a right should I pull out and make a left that is something you want to look at closely because normally we would all pull out to the left but that may not be the right thing to do here so what do you guys think let me show you guys what it looks like over here from the truck's point of view, the driver's point of view. So this is what that looks like. And this is what the area looks like right here. And this is what the passenger side looks like. Again, kind of think about this real quick before I go in to explain why I would do what I'm gonna do or why I'm gonna have my student do what he's gonna do so all right so I just asked my student Joseph what he would do in this situation what would you do Joseph I pull forward then turn left and then go around versus trying to go out to the right why left the trailers are set up on the other side why would you pull to the left to get more space because of how tight this is back here. Where are you gonna get space at though? By going forward, I can go farther forward left than I can farther forward right in my opinion. Okay, we'll find out. All right, so we just seen what Joseph said. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have him do. All right, so Joseph, or you want to start pulling straight forward, straight forward, and then, you see the space you got between you, a sense that. How much space do you have between you and the object in front of you? Where are your tandems at? How much space do you have in the back? How much tail overhang do you have? So at this point, you want to continue to pull forward. So we're gonna continue to pull forward. All right, pull forward. So we pull up forward a little bit more. 
Now we have less space. You have to think about if you were to start turning the wheel now, how far up here will you get? That's one thing you want to think about. Not only that, but you want to also look at the back. Not just on the driver's side, but the passenger side as well. Because if we look, it's pretty tight. All right. So again, Whenever you pull forward, think about the space you have and how much space is it gonna take you from the time you start turning the wheel to get up here. And if you clear it, that's even better. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Joseph, he's already slightly, slightly leaned over to the right, but there's not much. You wanna keep the truck straight. So you wanna, you're gonna start pulling forward and then you're gonna go to the driver's side, okay? So you're gonna go forward a little bit and then start turning, all right? All right, stop right here. I'll show you guys. So now, let's look at the space. This is what we got. This is what we're looking like. The wheels are gonna be turned. This is what the back looks like. All right? Remember, you do not have to wait until the back of the trailer is out the box before you start turning the wheels up there, okay? So let's look at the other side. Let me show you the back view. So this is what it looks like from the back. Slightly turned. You want to be considerate of back here because if he turns any sharper, this can hit back here. All right, so that's one thing you want to think about. So right now I think we're, we're doing pretty good. So, Joseph is going to continue to pull forward slowly and then if you're not able to see on the passenger side you want to get out and look in this case I'm gonna be the get out and look because I'm showing you guys what needs to be happening whenever you come into these tight spots so you're gonna pull forward you're gonna to continue to pull forward slowly, not too much because you wanna make sure that you clear that. And also you wanna make sure that you're clear back there in that far right corner because that is the tightest spot back there, okay? But I'll be the one looking for that. So you're gonna to continue to pull forward. I mean, to turn, I'm sorry. Slowly, yeah. All right, if you see the back is not really turning too much. The back is not really turning too much. It's still staying straight. All right. The, the space got, uh, the gap closed out a little bit. Let's look at the back again. Again, guys, I'm just showing you what it looks like. You see, the front is leaned over to the passenger side, but the back is not really turning yet. It just started turning as the tandems got out the box. Which if you see over here, it got a little closer. All right. It got a little closer. So this is the side that you wanna be worried about to get out and look if you need to. Again, I'm the get out and look right now. Joseph is just doing the maneuvers so I can show you guys and explain what needs to be happening. All right, so this is what it looks like up front. 
All right, Joseph, we're gonna continue to complete the turn. Look at the front, make sure you don't get close. So hold the wheels to the left, turn. All right. So again, let me show you guys. It looks like we're gonna clear it. He's gonna get close. Now let's look at the passenger side. Woo, man. This is very tight, guys. Very, very tight. So at this point, we have cleared the box. All right, as you can see, we have cleared it. This is the side that you wanna be worried about because this is the side that you cannot see. You can see the driver's side. There's a bigger gap over here. Okay, so a suggestion would be or an advice, a tip would be if you have more gap over here on the driver's side, get less of a gap over here on the driver's side so you have more space back here whenever the trailer kind of whips out and it doesn't scrape this other trailer. All right, so let me go back around. This is what he's looking like now. And Joseph was a, was right. He made a good choice to make a left turn because had he made a right turn, look where he's at. Look where we would have been at. So if he would have made a right turn, we would have hit this trailer. Or at this point, we would have done a different maneuver, backed up some more and then cut it harder. So at this point, we are good. What I would say on the money. All right. So let's go ahead and finish it off, Joseph. All right, you see? Joseph's looking at his driver's side. All right. So we cleared that trailer. We're out the box. We're outside the box, which is good. Very, very good. So now we have this trailer to look out for. Joseph's gonna continue to go to the, to the right or to the, his left. Bam. So we've seen that we cleared the front of the truck with this trailer, our second obstacle. And we noticed that the front of the trailer didn't get close to that first obstacle which is something you always want to look at guys whenever you're turning not just worry about the front of the truck but the front of the trailer as well all right so let me show you what oh there's no need to show you you can see it so this is what he looks like back here <laughs> obviously we're out the box nothing to worry about this is what he's looking like over there so again guys you want to make sure that you assess the situation decide which way you want to go and then you know go from there so we're going to finish it off and joseph whenever you come finish out go ahead and get in the center so joseph is looking over there yep yep So, so guys, that's what you want to do whenever you pull out of a tight spot. If you have to get out and look multiple times, guys, do so. Just like we did here. All right, so right now we're gonna finish the inspection on the trailer and we're gonna go from here to the receiver as you guys can see our first obstacle was this trailer then the second one that trailer and we came out that hole and it's 
it's pretty tight you've seen it before i showed you guys at the beginning what it looked like and you know these yard spotters it's easy for them to back it into the spots because they don't have the truck that we have the size so they have more room in the front when they're turning to the left or to the right so all right guys that is how to pull out of a tight spot and what to do what to look for i hope you guys like the video please like share subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down, uh, below and thank you very much for everything Bitch, I party like